TV with Brittany Fox, the uh, 2015 lineup. Got Johnny and Tommy and Chris, right? The new guy. And of course, Billy. He's been here the whole time. Bass, Billy. So what's happening, gentlemen, on the road? We, uh, well, it's not a real long tour. We're just starting out, basically. Our first gig in 15 years yesterday, so we're blowing some dust out and... Uh, some? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Just a tiny bit, and uh, tonight we're in Vegas, man. Totally psyched. Vamped. Oh, this is like the greatest rock club in Vegas that ever Vegas has ever seen. Yeah, this is you know? for me. Yeah, this, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, doing the, uh, you know, playing all these clubs for all these years and you know you get your break with Britney Fox many years ago and tell us uh, what's happening now uh, we just uh, I've been playing in count 77 for with Danny Coker for about two years now we have two records out and then these guys called up said hey you want to play again and we talked for quite a while before we did we said yeah in between dates because John plays with Doro Pesh from uh, from uh, Europe and uh, we decided, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's let's see if we can fill in dates in between our other dates. Uh, so we started arguing over over the internet about what we want to do, yeah. and we finally and who's going to make what, right? Who's going to make what? Yeah. And, you know, um, about the M and M's and you all, know, that, all the yeah. backstage yeah. stuff. Yeah. So and to, so anyway, tonight and uh, so we decided, yeah, let's go out. So we this is the first three gigs we've done in probably. 5,000 years to, as a unit, as Britney Fox. Does it feel good? It feels awesome. It, it feels great. Yeah, we're, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a while. <laughs> Billy, what's happening now compared to back in the day when you guys first got together? I mean, how does it feel when you get together with these guys on stage? Well, I mean, it feels great, man. It feels uh, like they were saying, man, blowing the dust off is it's kind of an understatement. I mean, we're really we're blowing years of dust. But we're, we're, we're like hoarders buried alive. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I mean, it's a blast doing this stuff. I mean, I've done a lot of other stuff that real well with that. And but this just feels like home to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like playing like, these like, like your first and, girlfriend, right? I mean, it's that kind well, of thing. a lot better than that. Yeah. Actually. Oh, 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 well, good. <laughs> Good, and this is uh, the new guy, right? Chris. This is Chris. What's yes. happening, Chris? How you doing? Real good here. We're having fun. Everybody's great. Everybody's real great. Having a great time out on our first round. So things are real good. Awesome. Uh, uh, every time he says great, he gets an extra, like, 10 bucks. There you go. He, he's he's like Fiverr, except it costs twice as much, right? Exactly, yeah. That's part of the gig, huh? That's it. Yeah. He played with Lizzie, with Lizzie Borden for a while, and they paid him in meat. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so so you pay him in veggies now or what? We would no, we pay him in veggies and second all. Oh, there you go, there you go. I mean, you got to have something. I mean, you know, at least Percocets and veggies or something. That's it. Something. Part of the deal. Yeah. Just got to negotiate your deal. Percocets and veggies. Yeah, don't they have those here? Yeah, yeah, of course. That's that's how you. That's on the rider. That, that's how you're able to keep the weight down when you're on the, exactly. the road, right? Exactly. Yeah, true. Uh, forget no me. Waffle House, right? I don't need any Percocets. If I move any slower, I'll be dead. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's, he's got the veggies. I got the Percocets. Yeah. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Well, I can tell. No. <laughs> most people feel... can. <laughs> yeah, most can. Yeah. <laughs> so, I gotta go somewhere in between. Nice, nice. Yeah. No, so are, now are you guys planning on doing any, uh, I mean, you got, are you off for a couple weeks or a couple months or what are you doing? Uh, we play these three dates. Tomorrow we're at the Whiskey. And then uh, in November, we play uh, Philadelphia, New York, and Atlanta. Atlanta is a, like a festival. It's called Farm Rock. It's all 80s groups oh, for nice. like a day or two vest festival. And then we're playing in... Yeah, yeah. And then and we're playing that cruise at the end of oh, next Oh, like year. the Monsters of Rock? Yeah, yeah. In uh, October, I think, of next year. Nice. So I know you guys are from Philly, so you're going to go play at your home hometown or, or kind of a hometown for a couple yeah. of you guys. Um, so, any, any chance of any of the other guys just coming up and four, five, six people getting on stage and rocking girls' school or what? You mean from the old camp? Yeah. Or, why or, not? I mean, when I it know, just, I, just uh, you know. There's always a chance, but it, you know, if it doesn't happen in 15 years, the chances go like <laughs> exactly. increase slower every day. But yeah, I mean, it's like ah, oh, it's okay. Stay home and you know, go ahead and work at the. Uh, the, the night shift at Wendy's or whatever. It's all, yeah, it's all. It's <laughs> That's all, where the other guys are. Well, now, yeah. speaking Just of people, kidding. Speaking of people jamming with us, tonight we've got two special guests. We have Danny. Oh, nice. The Count. From, the Count Coker from the Counting Cars nice. show. And we have Frank Domino from Angel. Uh, amazing voice. The yeah. guy's got yeah. amazing voice. So we have voice. both of them with us tonight. They're friends, and it's just going to be a hoot. 
So um, it's a total rock and roll show. I yeah, say, dude, like I'm, I'm you know, tripping. Yeah, I actually use that word. I don't, but but I like to when I can. So you're gonna do stuff from all all the, all the biggest and best hits, correct? Everything yeah. we got. Everything you got. Everything we got. Just throw it at the wall and yeah. just just rock. Exactly. We're still feeling it out. I mean, this is like our second gig, so we're just kind of like, you know, doing a little magic act in between shows and trying to find that thing that works you know get the flow going because we had it down you know when we last got together and now it's kind of like what seems good on paper isn't necessarily the right way and in, in front of a crowd you know you just want to have that thing that flows from top to bottom and then you know just make it a great time for everybody so i think tonight will be an improvement on last night and tomorrow again and just you know that's our plan to just keep moving forward and we also have some new music in the works, oh, nice. which is uh, exciting. And this is kind of like, you know, you can sit home and do your demos and all that, but until you get out there and do this and get that feeling again, yeah, then you, you kind of they... remember what you want to like put out there. So it's cool. I think doing both now, not necessarily stopping, write a record, kind of sit there and get stale you know it's like you can move back and forth a little bit and keep, Absolutely. keep your well, feet and, and I mentioned everybody's a little bit more established a little bit older in their lives and doing uh, you do things a lot smarter when you when you when you're married and you a have little. more responsibility uh, a little well, yeah. we try you know we try right we try but yeah. we, we I joined a band in 19 blah 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 bum I'll tell you this you know hey, yeah forget about it forget, forget about it have yourself in Philly so uh, where, uh, where are you guys going? Uh, let's see. Where was LA. I? Where was I heading? So you guys are heading to LA tomorrow? Heading to LA, yeah, probably tonight actually. Okay. But, uh, down at the whiskey tomorrow, and then we have like Tommy said, we get about three weeks off. Then we do uh, Farm Rock down in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, we got something up in North Jersey. What's the name of that club? Then? What's the name of the club in North Jersey? Uh, the New York thing. There's New York. You got me. I just looked Black at it. I just saw it. Black Door 51. And, and then we're back in Philly after that. And uh, like I say, at, at the beginning, you know, we started this thing. We, we started out talking about making an album is what we were going to do. You know, we, nice. weren't, we weren't really that... Well, and you can we, fire we, your we, tracks back and forth through the internet. Therefore, not, everybody doesn't have to be in the same city. Right. You I mean, know, it's, it's a lot different than it used to be. We were all doing different things. And... Uh, so the album was where we were focusing on, but then all of a sudden uh, our booking agents started coming up with some really good gigs. So nice. we're kind of splitting the difference now, like John was saying, yeah. and working on tunes and getting the feel of this back, which surprisingly, man, when you do something else for five or six years, you do yeah. kind of you do kind of lose, you know, the feeling that, that you have. It takes a little while to get it back. Oh, so that's, absolutely. that's the phase we're in, man. And now you guys are back and uh, locking it down tonight, though, you know? Yeah. You know, drum, drum bass and loud guitars and, you know, screaming vocals. And what more can you ask for, that's you know? That's basically it, brother. You nice. know what I mean? That's nice. It. That's, that's it. awesome. Sweet Al here with Buzz TV. Brittany Fox, 2015, the lineup. It's going to kick ass. See him in your town. Yes! Peace! Ow! Hang loose.
see the graphics in here. We're gonna go back to the first album. We're gonna play a song about a different state than the one we live in. So we're gonna go south. I believe it's a little bit east. Now, this state that we're gonna do for you, we're gonna sing about a state for you. Now, this state boasts three main things for their credit, and you gotta, you got to give them their props for it. Number one, they're the biggest producer of wool. Number two, the biggest collection of circus sauna in the entire United States. If you don't know that, just look it up. And number three, in Waco, a fella invented Dr. Pepper. No! I'm, I'm not shitting you. So let's go to the Lone Star State where everything is fun in Texas.
don't try.